How's it going, folks? So today I'm going to be talking about the brand new upcoming album from the band Walk With Titans, their debut album, actually, and it's called Olympian Dystopia. This bad boy comes out May 26th, and y'all know it by now before I get to that nitty-gritty. Let's check out the cover. So, boom, there it is. Take a look at that cover. It's simple, but sick. You have this really cool statue kind of looming over this desolate landscape. You know, the clouds are all dark, and it looks like there's been a lot of destruction or something like that. Uh, I, I like the colors, kind of the, the mix between uh, bluish and green. It, it just creates a, a nice image, a nice backdrop to this, this towering figure in the front there. And uh, I love the way the band name Walk With Titans is stylized right there. You know, it, it just looks really cool. And, and then the, the album, uh, Olympian Dystopia, down there at the bottom. You know, it, the one thing I, I will say about the album title down there, it blends in a little bit with, I don't know if that's like a river or something, you know, this casting reflections and stuff. The, the name of the album, it, it just blends in in the middle there a little bit with similar colors. So maybe having that pop a little bit more or a different color, I'm not sure. But, uh, but you know, that's a, just a minor thing. But as it is, you know, you look at this and it just looks powerful. You know, it looks cool. Definitely gives off metal vibes. So, yeah, I dig it. Like I said, you know, simplicity is not always a bad thing because it, it just looks cool. It looks really, really cool. And, yeah, so I, I dig it aesthetically as far as if you're looking at the record shop and you see this cover, you're like, whew, th this looks neat. This looks really cool. Uh, does the, the cover properly convey the, the music within if you just bought it because you thought the cover looks sick and the band name is tight? And you get it home and you, and you throw it in the, the record player or what have you. Would you be surprised by the music contained within? I don't know, you know, it's, it's a similar thing with a lot of covers where it is slightly generic with regards to the style of music, you know, because I feel like this could go a lot of ways. You know, it, it could be death metal, it could possibly be metalcore, but it could also be symphonic metal or, as is the case, power metal. So it's kind of tough to get a read, you know, if it's just in the metal section and you see this cover. What, what would you think it is? I, I'm not sure. You know, I, it, it's always hard for me to say when I already know what the band sounds like, so I've listened to the album or what have you. But if I just saw this, I might would think it's more in the death or metalcore variety. But again, with that being said, it still works for the power metal and for what, what we have here. So, you know, I'm a little iffy on that. But as far as aesthetically the cover, I think it looks tight. But y'all have to let me know in the comments what your first thought would be if you looked at this cover and you didn't know what what the sound was. What what, what genre would you think it is? Just your, your initial reaction. I'd be curious to know. Anywho, that's the cover. Now for the album itself, Bad Boy's got 10 tracks on here. Comes in at about 50 minutes and y'all know by now that that's kind of the sweet spot for me. It's a good amount of tracks. Just the right amount of length without getting bloated or anything like that or without you feeling gypped it's very it's a solid solid track length and solid album length and again it's one of those situations where every song feels like it belongs there you know it doesn't get stale as it's going through it it feels like a concise piece there's no bloat here and you know, there, there aren't any moments where you just feel like you, you're just kind of hearing the same thing over and over again. And extra songs were just tacked on for the sake of having more songs. No, it, it's, it's a complete work. And it, it work goes nicely all the way through. And it, it's a good amount of time. And when it's done, you can just kind of want to start it over again and, and listen. So from that aspect, it, it, it's solid. And what you're going to get here is some power metal through and through. And it's that type of power metal that is, I hold near and dear to my heart because it, it's a very 2000s 
era of power metal kind of sounding album. And that's kind of my favorite. That's like the golden age, in my opinion, of power metal. That's really when I got into power metal and a lot of that. That's when I was listening to it a lot and what first got me really into the genre. So I have a soft spot for this style and it really has that 2000s era style of power metal. And like I said, it's power metal through and through. Very melodic, a lot of speedy, up-tempo songs, some nice sweeping epic melodies in the chorus, some anthemic moments, and with that 2000s era sound. And it, it reminds me in some ways of early Stradivarius, if I had to make a direct comparison, but without as much like keyboard. You know, there's, there's not as much keyboard prevalent in this album, but it, it reminds me a little bit of that, the early kind of Stradivarius style. And I dig it. I dig it. Like I said, great melodies, great guitar work, a lot of nice speedy riffs, and the melodies are just phenomenal. Very catchy in a lot of places, and also just really soaring moments, especially in the chorus and stuff. So it's just, if you're a power metal fan, do not miss this album. It, you're, it's, a, it's a treat, and it's stellar from beginning to end. I was really, really blown away because this is the debut album here, folks, and the quality of it is, you would think that it's a seasoned band and this is maybe their third or fourth album where they've really been able to refine their sound because they just really sound like they know what they're doing here right off the rip with the debut album. And it's so solid and so impressive even if this was their fifth album, you know, but given it's their first, it's very impressive, very impressive. It, it, it's put together very well. The, the production is solid. It sounds nice, clear and crisp. You can hear all the different instruments really well. The mixing was done, done great. And the songwriting, again, it, it's, it, it's done with such, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's done with such I can't think of the word, but it's done well. The songwriting is very, very solid. And the, like I said, the guitar work is excellent. Guitar is kind of the, the most prevalent instrument. You know, that's kind of what drives most of the songs. So the guitar work is really, really good. The riffs, the, the speedy moments, the, the solos, everything really, really solid and, and drives the, the songs musically for the most part. The drums do a really great job of, you know, keeping that tempo, keeping that pace up. And there is keyboard, but it takes a back seat. And it's kind of cool the way it was used because a lot of times you can hear it in the background, sort of providing this backing layer of just some nice keyboard sounds in the background. With not like crazy melodies or anything. It's mostly just kind of, I guess you would say, chords or whatnot, just giving a, a little bit of that, that keyboard backdrop that it just enhances the sound and gives a depth or a richness to the sound in each song and, and it helps fill it up, you know, so it doesn't feel empty. And you get moments of choirs, you know, there's some really great choir moments in here that, again, take the, the scale of the songs and, and, and make them feel larger than life which is important because it's very Greek themed. And so, you know, you're talking about some of these topics in Greek mythology with the gods and, and all these things. So you, you need a little bit of this larger than life sound because the, the themes are larger than life. And so that contributes really well to that. And there's one song that I'll talk about too where there's some really great piano work. So you do get some extra little flavors in there, but predominantly it's guitar driven. The vocals are excellent, very, very excellent. And, and this again kind of takes me back. It sounds like a, a younger Timo Cody Pelto in a sense, you know, not, not identical, but there's, there's hints there, you know, in, in the voice and just the, the style of singing. And it's just excellent, you know. He's got such a great voice and can really soar and, and really hit some amazing notes and carry 
the, the listener through the lyrics and, and through the melodies of the song, the vocal melodies, and just, like I said, just really soar with the sound. It's got a strong voice with a great range, and it, it works really, really well. It starts out with track one, Heracles, which is just an awesome, awesome song. It was actually released as a single. Um, I, I did a reaction to it, and it's a killer, killer song. Track three, Gods of the Pantheon, is one of my favorites on the album, actually. And this is the one I was telling you. Has some really nice piano work in here. It's a great song. Kind of a anthemic kind of vibes uh, through the chorus and, and uh, just epic, uh, grand sense. Track five, Lost Ways, is it's not a ballad per se, but it... It slows things down a smidge, but the chorus is just glorious, and the melody, vocals really, really shine here. I enjoyed that a lot, and it, it continues all the way through, uh, all the way through to the end, Eurydice, a uh, great way to end the album, and it doesn't end it on kind of a somber note. It, it keeps that energy, it keeps the, the power up, and just ends it in a nice, grand fashion. And that's really this whole album. You know, there's not a whole lot of ups and downs. It's very consistently powerful, a lot of energy. And like I said, you, you have some moments that aren't quite as speedy, but it still has the, the same energy. So it's just a, a pumping album that really, really keeps the pace up and the, the scope of the album. It really, really keeps all of that up all the way through. And... It is a treat. It's a real treat. I was thoroughly impressed. I was looking really forward to it, but you never quite know what you're getting into, especially when it's a debut album, but I was quite blown away, uh, to be just straight up with y'all. It, 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 I can't get enough of it. <laughs> I, I can't. It, like I said, any power metal fan has to listen to this album. It, it, it sounds like just a, a long lost classic from the 2000s era and it's done so impeccably well and every song shines every song is important and every song is noteworthy you know there's no duds it just continues all the way through and this is an album i would have played until the cd just burnt out back in the day when i was really listening to well when i first really got into power metal but to even now, it's this album I'm going to keep going back to a lot and a lot because it's so solid and so consistent from start to finish and so infectious. It's truly a power metal masterpiece. It is through and through, you know. And when I say it's just power metal through and through, it's doesn't have some of which I'm not disparaging any of that because I love all sorts of the power metal and all the different influences and things, but there's not like electronic stuff going on here. There's not really a bunch of symphonic stuff going on here. The fantasy elements or kind of, or that, that kind of new modern power metal style where it blends a little bit of melodic rock in there with some other things. And it, it, it is that 2000s era style power metal. And it's glorious. It is really glorious. It's, it feels fresh because of that. And it's just nice that in this day and age, we have bands who are sticking to that sound, that style from that era of power metal and doing it so phenomenally well. So I really am quite blown away. It's an excellent, excellent album. There's really no critiques I have because I just enjoyed the heck out of it from beginning to end. And I can't get enough. I cannot get enough. Do not miss this bad boy. Do not miss it. It belongs in every Power Metal fan's collection. It is that good. And uh, I always give you my honest opinions here, folks. And it, I wholeheartedly, 100% recommend this to any Power Metal fan. And you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Simple as that. So... Y'all know also, uh, if y'all are curious, you know, and you're, hey, to tell me one song to listen to to decide if I want to hear the whole album or not. 
my recommendation would go with either Heracles, which was released as a single, I did a reaction to it, killer song, or go with Gods of the Pantheon, because between the two of those, uh, I really think it gives you a really great idea of what to expect on the whole album. There's a lot of elements in each of those songs that are kind of spread across the whole album, and it would just give you a great indication of what to expect. And if you listen to any of those songs, either of those songs, if you listen to any of the songs on this album, you're going to want to listen to the whole thing. So, like I said, I can't recommend it enough. I'm, I'm honestly blown away. I'm probably even underselling how much I, I enjoyed this album. It's I, 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 try, I don't like to geek out too terribly much, but I love it. I, I, I love it. it. It really, really exceeded my expectations. So, yeah. Do not miss this bad boy. Again, it's Walk With Titans, their debut album, Olympian Dystopia, which comes out May 26th. Impressive work. Impressive work. They, they did a phenomenal job here, and I dig it. Let me know in the comments down below what you've thought of the singles so far, and once you've heard the album, be sure to let me know what you think of the album. Uh, did you love it as much as I did? And are, are you excited for the album? Are you excited to listen to it? Let's talk about it, and I'll catch you all next time. Ranger, out.